Hi, my name is Mohammed Shamri. Welcome to my channel where I offer a series of accounting and management lessons in Arabic and English. Today we will talk about one of the fundamental steps to start learning the financial accounting, which is the accounting equation. The accounting equation is asset equal liabilities plus equity. Now let's talk more about the components of the accounting equation. The asset is a resource with economic value that owns or control with the expectation that it will provide a future benefit. Assets are divided into three sections. The first section is PPE, which is property, plant, and equipment. The PPE are long-term assets vital to a business operation and not easily converted into cash. Property, plant, and equipment are tangible assets, which is mean they are physical in nature or can be touched. Here is an example for PPE, land, building, machinery, equipment, furniture, and vehicle. The second section is current asset, which is represent all the assets of a company that are expected to be conveniently sold, consumed, utilized, or exhausting through the standard business operation, which can lead to their conversion to a cash value over the next one year period. Current assets include cash, cash equivalent, accounts receivable, stock inventory, marketable security, prepaid liabilities, and other liquid assets. The last section is intangible asset, which is represent the asset that is not physical in nature, such as goodwill, franchise agreement, copyrights, patent, and trademarks. Now let's move to the next part of the accounting equation, which is liabilities. Liability is an obligation between one party and another, not yet completed or paid for. In the world of accounting, a financial liability is also an obligation, but is more defined by previous business transaction, events, sales, exchange of asset or service, or anything that would provide economic benefit at a later date. Liabilities are usually considered short term if it's expected to be concluded in 12 months or less, or long term if it's for 12 months or greater. These are examples of liabilities, whether it's current or non-current liabilities. Finally, the last part of equation, which is equity. Equity represents the amount of money that would be returned to a company's shareholders if all of the assets were liquidated and all of the company's debt was paid off. The equity are include capital, reserves, and return earnings. Return earnings formula and calculation is return earnings in the beginning of period plus net income minus any cash or stock dividends. Net income formula is revenue minus expenses. Now let's see the effect of the accounting equation on the financial statement. Here in the balance sheet, we can see that uh, total asset equal the total liabilities and equity. And for the income statement, the net income, which is revenue minus expenses, will go to the retail earnings in the balance sheet. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, please share it with us by using any of our accounts which is appear in the top left corner of the screen. I hope to see you soon, inshallah, in the next video. Goodbye.